Hey everyone, Bittersteel here, back with another video, another glorious disaster. This one was sent in by a series of cogs. Now, I'll see if I can get my editor to get the full story up on screen here, but let me paint you a picture. In short, he's playing non-historical, things happened, and he finds himself at war with the Allies. And Germany, having gone democratic, is in the Allies. And somehow, they managed to invade him through neutral Czechoslovakia using military access, and link up with a naval invasion and it looks like his entire army's cut off oh more naval invasions there so i want to see just how bad it is so let's hop right in at least iron man mode's on so i don't have to forget about saving oh yeah this is definitely not good no manpower that's a good start my first order of business is going to be opening this back up so we have one continuous front line have to make sure that no you're not redeploying we have to make sure that the germans never managed to link up with this if we can somehow clean that up we can close this pocket hopefully push them either back into Czechoslovakia or just destroy them ideally that would free up an entire army this looks like a front line that I don't want to cover there's a front line with Mongolia are we fighting Japan no fortunately we're not so there's just another front line here first order of business will be military reorganization I don't want all these divisions here what I'm gonna do is send them to the Western Front and just keep enough divisions assigned here so that there's one division per tile everybody else is getting sent west okay this is also a, a disastrous area to fight in supply is an issue so I'll, I'll probably downsize these divisions oh yeah we'll need to look at your templates speaking of templates do you have anything we can deploy a bit of infantry oh you have some tanks ready i'm going to drop those on warsaw assign them to your tank army and then use these to smash through the narrowest bit here and open things back up only we'll to recapture this red railway as well so we can supply those troops anyway uh, I was gonna check out your division templates your infantry not bad too big though going to remove two artillery pieces that is going to do wonders for both our equipment and our manpower I am also going to remove cavalry recon I very much like recon it's not bad but we need the manpower maybe I can add support artillery if can we afford that we can afford the expense how much manpower is this I would get a hundred K manpower and if I don't add support artillery we get 150 40k manpower oh no i think i still want the artillery on this so so something like this at least that will give us a little bit of manpower again we'll deploy these whenever we can i'll deploy them around the yellow stock hopefully use this if it ever gets done to help clean the naval invasion up prioritize garrisons and the fresh recruits first after that we'll see so many division templates and most of them are crap we'll just get rid of these uh it will make things easier uh, your armor i know you've got arm oh Look, this is too big. Like, 50 combat width is not even close to being optimal in any scenario. Just get rid of half of it. 30 combat width is acceptable for armor. Thinking something like this. It's got more than 30 orc. It's got decent soft attack, decent breakthrough. It's okay. It's by no means perfect, but it's okay. I'm gonna get rid of maintenance companies. I'll keep the rest in, I think. So make them elite so they get reinforcement priority. And we'll give them a proper name. Armor divisions. Okay, so that's another 60k manpower we would get. Good. I think I can change the garrison template as well. You're using these. Not terrible. But I am going to change these into military police. That would reduce our manpower need by another 70,000. Okay. What I'm really trying to do here is just keep manpower contained. We are so short on manpower. You're mobilizing more, but... Not nearly enough. Or I can see you've got the service by requirement. You don't have to though. Let's start with extensive conscription. That's gonna be bad enough as it is, and we'll go from there. You can also hire political advisors. Let's get ooh, this guy, consumer goods, yes. And five percent political power and fifteen percent the Stability. Do I want PP gain or do I want stability? I very much like stability. I'll get this guy first and I can switch him out later. Everything else seems decent. Kozenkowski. Our division defense is not as useful as you might think. I'm going to take Sikorsky here. I'm going to give him army organization expert. And I think that's going to be more useful than division defense. The rest of this is, is okay. I don't really see anything we can change on the fly here. Air Force. You've got a nice. You've got a decent size. Air Force. Okay. I'm gonna split it up into air wings of 100. It's a little more optimal than air wings of 200. I'm gonna not attach them to an army. I'm gonna manually control them. I'm gonna set them over Western Poland because this is 
currently the most important. Why are they in the Western step? There's nothing there. Like I said, I'm going to put them over Western Poland and hopefully that will deal with the gigantic disaster we're facing here. So air is being deployed. Speaking of, all right, what's your construction like? Uh, yeah, not what I do. You've got a ton of military factories already. More than you need, realistically. Like, I don't need this much in artillery. Let's, let's cut that down. Tanks? Uh, I could cut down a little bit. Fighters, I can cut that down a little bit. Increase that. Uh, increase those. Don't need rocket artillery. I will need trains. Uh, you're making subs. I like subs, but are they good? Hmm, they can be better. All right, so just cut down on tanks a little bit more. I'll build more stuff later on. Like I, I will build mills, but first I have other priorities. Uh, I don't need this many mills. My main priority right now is actually the railways. They've been cut here but we will re-establish connection what i'm also going to do is upgrade the levels going to upgrade the levels everywhere i can just to make sure we get maximum supply throughput in this area this will be where most of our troops are and then behind the lines again railways going to be real real important Upgrade those to the first priority after that a little bit of oil production because i don't think we can trade for rubber without using convoys and convoys will get sunk by the royal navy we'll alter this as we go so we just need to know how to handle things. Okay, we've got a couple of divisions <laughs> surrounded up north. All right, I'll, I'll just park you here. Don't know where else to go with you guys. Sweden is in the war and losing hard. Finland's gonna lose. Not much I can do about Finland. Um, well, that sucks. At least to the south, we are relatively okay with the Czech Entente here. I don't think they have war goals on us. I don't think they do. They don't like us, but they should leave us alone. Unfortunately, they are giving military access to our enemy. As a result, they can supply this ginormous pocket we're about to create. So it's going to be a problem, but we'll deal with it. Ciphers. Fine, I'll crack that cipher. And I'll reposition my spies to places where they'll be more useful. Army command, you've gone. Okay, superior firepower. I like it. Don't need that much military experience now. So I'm just going to get quick improv would be nice. Proper hair. Uh, yeah, I'll leave this as it is, but I am going to pick political loyalty to increase our stability even more. I don't think any of the other ones matter that much. I will eventually get either flexible organization or smoke and fire. These are both really good. For now, I'm getting reserve officers so I can get my units deployed quicker. I need troops. I need troops in the field now. Speaking of, army modernization isn't going to do us any good. You have any good focuses left? Maybe there's a couple of good ones I see here. East Prussia for cores, Greater Commonwealth for cores. We'll come back to those later. Plan West could be helpful. You've got a couple of good stuff but right now what i want is army training i want divisions i want these 24 units deployed as quickly as humanly possible i'm also gonna just check out what you're making in terms of tanks um not bad but could be better you can use medium cannon twos improve medium cannon slope armor i like that and then i just add additional machine guns just to get more breakthrough soft attack that kind of stuff the rest of this looks okay your speed is Good, eight kilometers an hour. Could be faster, but like this. This this is decent radio. There, it's a little more expensive, but I think this is an overall better tank. How's your research looking? This is good, this is good. I'm not gonna do maintenance companies. I, I don't have the manpower to spare on frivolous stuff like that. Instead, let's get better fighters. Nuclear reactor, no, 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 no. Let's get better casts instead. That's gonna be better. Mechanized, I might use mechanized later. Not now. I am going to increase our war support by a little war propaganda. High war support means uh, faster mobilization of manpower, and that is exactly what we need. So I think all I can do now is slow the game down and start a campaign of micromanagement, trying to contain this horrific disaster. Oh, and these guys that I'm sending over to the other front, I'm gonna manually select them, because I know they will try to railroad and then stop railroading eventually. I'm gonna manually send them over to Brest-Litovsk and then order them to railroad individually. I know it's tedious, but I want those units to be in position quickly. And if they start to just walk all the way to the front, by the time they're here, we'll have capitulated. Surely you must have some manpower somewhere. You're this big. Where's your manpower? You've lost barely 200, like not even 300,000 men. Was the previous war that costly? I wonder. Okay, so that's fixed. Okay, <laughs> we've reestablished the link to the front line. Now we have to retake these railways and supply can flow. Oh, our troops 
are so weak though. So weak. I've got no manpower. What I'm gonna do now is retake these railways so the um, supply up in Poznan can get supply. And then I'm gonna take my armor on a little bit of a micromanagement campaign north and we are going to do whatever we can. Just as I said that I had re-established the link. Anyway, I'll be taking my armor north and trying to contain this using uh, just a couple of armor divisions. I love micromanaging tanks. So at least it's a bit of fun. Alright, it's armies moving in. We'll be retaking Danzig as soon as we can and then try to push across the shoreline taking these ports. Speaking of ports, I will need to garrison them. Just gonna keep force deploying these infantry units whenever they're ready. Railway is looking okay. The network is getting slowly fixed. That is something. With a little luck, I can push in and take Breslau. When I say a little luck, I mean a lot of luck. Okay, so now just Danzig where they've managed to stack a bunch of units. We're tightening the noose. Yes, okay. So that is those units cut off, hopefully. What's also going to be important here is due to the fact that they've got military access in Czechoslovakia, they can use it to retreat. So I, I technically could not destroy this pocket. Well, I could, but I would just be pushing their units into Czechoslovakia. So the best course of action for me is to advance along the southern front and cut off access from Czechoslovakia. Okay, Danzig secured. Move the armor up. And yes, I'm, I'm just microing my tanks because I don't trust the AI. Oh, I just noticed you're making fighter twos, but they're not upgraded in any way. And with the amount of air combat we'll be doing, I'm just going to fully upgrade your fighter twos. By the time we've got enough produced and we research the next fighter, we'll have, we'll have more army experience. We're getting a lot of army experience from all this fighting. Oh, great. My tanks encircled. Oh, well, we're unencircling it as we speak. The allied units have also managed to link up. So this is just one big naval invasion now. Where are my reinforcements? Are they on their way? Uh, sort of. If only I could use my tanks to clean this up, but I need them here for containment. Gonna try and cut across the Courland Peninsula. Cut them off at Yale, Yale Gava and then crush whatever's there. My main mission is just encircle and destroy. That's it. Encircle and destroy. I'm gonna redeploy the air to support my tanks as well. I think it's more important that we uh, do a little fighting up there. Every victory point we take, we should be able to reduce their combat effectiveness. Oh, and they, they're still managing to push out. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, yes, please. I'll take non-aggression pacts. Okay, so I just realized I've got a couple of divisions sitting on this front, which is pretty much an irrelevant front. Uh, I don't need full combat with divisions sitting there. I'm going to replace them with something cheap. Something cheap and expendable. There, 10 combat with, with some engineers. You'll you'll have to do. Oh, boy, tanks are doing a number on the, the allied divisions here. That's good. You're constantly funneling in troops through Czechoslovakia. I hate military access and the way it works. Anyway, with this smashed, hurrah, I'll need to divert everything back here. All of those tanks will have to go back south. Meanwhile, I am still being pushed up here. Of course I am. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, still, if I can take the port from them, they'll be completely cut off. All right. I'll just mop that up. Turn my... Oh my god, they're at Minsk? How quickly are they spreading? This one to being... Okay, maybe I I can still win to oh my god I just want this to be over just look at this giant stain and there's nothing I can do about it set this army on aggressive and fight I am going to try desperately to crush this okay new fighters new casts none of this research really matters at this point might go for naval improved subs or something so I can stop the never-ending stream of naval invasions okay I have 24 units deployed 24 units of infantry their job is just to stem this. Just hold it back until the tanks are ready. All right, that should be cleaned up soon. I think the attrition still, the attrition still isn't working. If I free up those tanks, I'll quickly swing them here. Then I can free up 30 extra divisions that I will then send here. And I will slowly start pushing them back. Infantry to hold the south and then tanks along the coast to take the ports to cut their supply. That's actually a lot of divisions will destroy. Good. Okay, so I've just realized I had my microphone muted for the last 
10 minutes or so in case my editor missed it during editing so we cleaned up this pocket here using the tanks once they were finished up north with a naval invasion and then I split off a couple of divisions from that purple army just to cover my coastline I don't want to get naval invaded again and I'm now trying desperately to uh, contain this enormous allied oh it's it's no longer just a naval invasion this enormous allied push really okay that secures the sector around Brest Litovsk I will be cutting a lot of this battle footage because it's mostly me micromanaging my 12 tanks trying to cut up this invasion into more manageable pieces and trying to reclaim my country the west is completely immobile nothing is happening here at worst would probably get pushed two tiles mostly due to supply not reaching here I, I could fix this actually I, I probably should fix this by dumping a supply hub here it will take forever to build but hey might be worth it as for the rest I'm just gonna try and build more railways to supply my troops all right we can now make advanced medium tanks i'm gonna start researching modern tanks i just wish we could just easily slot them into our divisions but alas we're just gonna use the same thing we did before medium howitzers not bad but i think the medium cannon i don't think the cost of the medium howitzer is worth it i want to keep the medium cannon because i see germany deploying quite a few tanks again three-man turret best radio i can fit sloped armor because it's just a net gain i think and then I just slap on some additional machine guns. Christie suspension, welded armor, and a gasoline engine. Who gas turbines. Now uh, just jack up the speed and armor. Slow and steady wins the race. That sounds like a naval invasion. Should be able to hold that. It's fine. I'm gonna give these guys a fallback line. <sighs> fall back line. I'm just gonna make these guys push to these two tiles I think and then use the manpower that is freed up to deal with that weird Chinese thing here. Their strength is also increasing like they're deploying more and more units to this because they've linked up with Norway now. I, I'm getting more desperate. I thought it was doing better. I'm really not. This is potentially much worse than the situation we were in at the start because this front is massive and I don't have the units. I don't have the manpower. I have nothing to counter this so panic is slowly setting in by slowly I mean very very quickly could try to push to Minsk and then cut off the southern tip yeah okay this terrain actually uh, has supply so that looks weird frontline wise but we should be fine should be good should be okay armor is in position I'm gonna try another thrust see if I can get an encirclement going around Vilnius naval invasions naval invasions everywhere I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm lost I don't know how to dig myself out of this hole my hope is that Japan can hold this sector and crush the Chinese and that would help a lot here meanwhile this though <laughs> my tank army just gets stopped in its tracks by divisions that don't even have 10% org oh well at least I'm getting some mild success in this region at least it's not the giant sweeping breakthrough I, I could really use right now but every encirclement should destroy some oh I have my Manpower. I have manpower. Okay. Um, I actually have everybody who's in the field is fixed. So I am going to queue up a bunch of divisions now and we're gonna pump out army after army after army you know what i was saying yeah I'm, I'm feeling confident about this we're getting something done here we're getting pushed back i'm getting pushed back by individual infantry units that don't have organization or supply and they're just casually pushing aside my tanks i genuinely do not understand how they're doing this they're putting up way more of a fight than they should be able to i'm now a thousand tanks short um no way they're replenish those losses uh need to keep the industry going as i reclaim land i guess maybe i can i can up production even these encircled units are proving more than a match for my army mostly because of the air like i said how 10 oh oh they were up to 10,000 air yeah my brilliant idea of an all-out offensive has actually cost me i think they've pushed me more than I pushed them. The situation has not evolved to the benefit of, well, us. Look at these air casualties. I cannot stop the enemy. They can put 10,000 planes over an air zone and still have thousands left for the rest. Even if I put everything I have over someplace, it's not enough. It doesn't matter. Also, you're, I just noticed your panzer leader is a combined arms expert and thus virtually useless. Like, what have you done here? Start a tank offensive in the south here. Most 
mostly to try and keep myself from being cut completely in half. Unfortunately, this is lost. Unless the Republic of China capitulates when Japan takes it. But I can still hold here. Though it is, it is getting very difficult. Um, AI is really strong and I still haven't figured out why. But to the south, I'm managing to slowly push back using my armor. And hopefully we can use that to roll up the line. I've also started uh, aggressive convoy raiding with my best submarines. So sub threes with sub four modules and a snorkel. Giving them to my best admiral, set them to high risk engagement and they will attack anything. Uh, they're virtually invisible to the AI. Uh, oh God. And they should be able to help us deal with the endless naval invasions. Why are they naval invading? Why are they not starving would be my first question. Also, that encircled infantry division is defeating my tanks because of course they can. Fortunately, most of our manpower problems are fixed. Unfortunately, now we have just equipment shortages. Um, don't have that much of anything left, really. Plus, I'm still short a lot of tanks. We did make some gains to the south here, so there is that. This is still disastrous. This is all so thinly held. If I had air, I would roll this up in no time. Unfortunately, the enemy can put thousands of planes everywhere and I can't even begin to contest it. Ideally, I'd do like a double pincer from this area and this area and meet around Minsk and then I could cut off this entire section. That's not not feasible. My armor gets stopped by anything just because of the air power. I, I've been bitching about this the entire run, but honestly, it's it's true. Without air, you are worthless. Look, I was pushing easily here. Now they've redeployed their air, so there's thousands of casts here. My units, my tanks, my very well-equipped, well-trained, highly experienced tanks, well, not that highly experienced, but they're getting pushed by shitty infantry without supply because casts shreds. Well, so far, this southern offensive has been paying dividends. Um, I think there is less, just a, a lower concentration of units down here. I'm, I'm slowly able to eke my way north. The air is still horrific. 10,000 enemies opposed to my, what, a quarter of that? Losses are high, but I am slowly but steadily pushing. Of course, my front line is nowhere near long enough to actually cover everything. I'm trying to push north and hopefully reach St. Petersburg to cut off this section, and then we'll see. I am getting more manpower, which is very nice, but I don't have the equipment to really churn out a bunch of divisions yet. Yeah, and my plan to use submarines just is not working at all. They've sunk every single sub I've built. For some reason, they have extremely high visibility in the area. Oh, speaking of, I should probably be building a couple of these radars. I forgot I could do that. Oh, look, I, I was pushing for a bit. Now the enemy have redeployed their air and they're, they're just melting my divisions. Doesn't matter that they don't actually have supply. They are simply melting my army, just walking into them. And upon contact, my infantry disintegrates. This is not fun. I'm probably doing a bunch of stuff wrong, but please understand that it's been hours and it's been one step forward, one step back the entire way. I make it one tile in and just get absolutely hammered by enemy infantry. Please just link up, link up. Okay, okay. We've managed to encircle this. I very much want to destroy it, but I realize now that I probably won't be able to use my tanks for that. They're keeping that open. I'll, I'll try and use the tanks to keep that open. The infantry though is going to go ham and hopefully we'll be able to use the infantry to destroy the pocket. You know those encircled infantry, those encircled units that are taking attrition, have no supply, are just generally stuck in a swamp without anything? Yeah, they're pushing out. They are pushing tanks. They're pushing entrenched infantry. They're holding their own against anything I throw at them. When Rostov falls, all of this is going to cut off. So I think this is the point where I decide I cannot hold. Um, I cannot get these divisions out in time. I will not be able to hold the area. I am just going to get rid of these units. It's been a good run, but I cannot hold anything east of this line. Finally closing it. It looks like they finally 
run out of steam, so once that's gone, I have to extend the front down to Rostov. God, I am so overextended as it is. And I hear naval invasions. Of course I do. But it's done. The encirclements are closed. Okay, Corsican Republic. I really don't care. Redeploy any units to the front and look for a new opportunity to deal damage. I still have my doubts that we can eventually pull this off, but if we don't try, we will never know. And I think the best odds we have right now of dealing with this is to one, keep using my armor the way I have. I think just cut, cut up as many allied divisions as possible and just set a front line um, between, what is this, Rostov and the Baltic Sea and try and push back or hold that line and, and try an assault on Germany, though I, I doubt that will be successful. All right, looks to be going well. If I can close this around Daugav Pils, whatever, it's another good section cut off. I think the biggest difficulty will be keeping it open since this is a very long front and it's, it's pretty thinly held, both by me, but fortunately also by the Germans and the Dutch and British and all of the allies pretty much. All right, so I've closed that, put the armor into position to keep it open, I guess. And the armor should concentrate on liberating the Baltic states. Well, Baltic states, I think there's just one Baltic state there. It's my puppet. All right, collapse that. Hopefully I can keep the pocket open. So far it's looking good, actually. Pockets collapsing. It looks like the um, attrition mechanics are also properly working. So these are out of support and they're not able to resist. Like before it was incredibly difficult to collapse pockets because for some reason the supply mechanics were not kicking in. They are now and it's helping. Once I've pushed up there, I'm gonna try and link up with St. Petersburg and then cut across here, set a front line, set it and forget it, or maybe push into Finland, we'll see. And this is the last of that pocket about to be cleaned up very nicely. I think the allies took most of my stuff and as a result, yeah. Yeah, they took the, the, the resources. They took all of my resources. Tanks are just thundering ahead. I can head to Narva. I can cut this entire section off and they'll they'll still have ports, but I can I can close that. Like, these German divisions are tough. They're really tough. Yeah, I'll, I'll just use these units to um, like hold the tip here. <laughs> so my Crimea is protected. Wherever the tanks go, victory follows at least. So I have that going for me. And there goes the allied Baltic force. Good. It's another problem solved. I'm going to keep pushing until... Leningrad and then we'll see. I may need to send the relief force south because they have been pushing me. I can take that supply hub though. Another naval invasion. Yay. Why are you like this game? Fortunately, an infantry division just walked into this port. So it should contain things somewhat. I definitely need more port guards. So these guys are going to be assigned port guard duty. All right, that push against St. Petersburg is not going to work. I'm going to redeploy, take Vitebsk, maybe push to Smolensk. It looks fairly light there. Uh, and then I'll take those units and try and retake some land to the south here. It looks like they are beefing up their attacks. So I, I want to fix that. Okay, armored spearheads in position. I'm going to try and encircle them around Vitebsk. So push along the railway into the north, push from the south and cut off these units there. It's not going to be a big pocket. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't have to be. Oh, that's great. Republic of China's gone. So that should give Japan an edge in the region. I welcome any and all attacks by Japan at this point, as long as they're not directed at me. Yay, encirclement. It's just the one division, but it's a division. Okay, with Smolensk taken, we'll have the railway hub. Okay, good. That means supply is in our hands. Again, not many reserves. Also running short on oil. Fortunately, Romania is a Chad and is willing to make it deal. Pocket after pocket. Good. My subs are fully upgraded now as well. Don't know what else to really put any tech into. None of it matters. Uh, it's 1946. I'll keep it going a little bit until I can say like I fully stabilized this. Maybe I can take out Germany. I'm not playing until 1950 to achieve some sort of victory by cleaning the continent because that's not happening. So far I have inflicted millions of casualties on Germany and the UK. I want to keep that ball rolling. I want to bleed their countries dry and when I swing my my main force towards them, they will have nothing left. I'm going to try and be bold and rush my tanks to Moscow. It's a major railway hub, so maybe if I can hit it, I can disrupt allied supply in this region. I really regret not dealing with the... Oh, great. Oh my... What? Okay, so we're not going to Moscow. Every one of my armor needs to be pulled back. Look at the 
this absurdity? They've destroyed my port guards at Gdynia. So that is going to funnel billions of allied troops into my country once again. So my armor has been confined to guard duty once more. So these units will not be deploying in Crimea. I will need them to replenish my port guards. Hey, tanks are freed up. Uh, where do I want them? Instead of trying desperately to hold, how about I go on the offensive? And I'll launch a major offensive on the eastern front just to tie down divisions. Okay, I've pushed into Stettin. This is an extremely lightly held border. I don't know what Germany's doing, but I'm going to exploit this to hurt them. I want to hurt them badly now. And I'm going to take Berlin. Nice. Oh, that feels good. As long as the Czechs don't stab me in the back, I may be able to do the Lord's work now. With that front, I'm just going to halt again. Most of those attacks are just diversions anyway. I, I don't expect to retake the entire East. That's not what we're here for anyway. Ah, <laughs> the Polish juggernaut cannot be stopped. We are moving, boys. We're moving. All right, get the Hamburg, get the Kiel. Maybe I can even uh, take out the Danes. I'll be nice. And so far, no real German resistance is materializing. Probably because they're out of manpower. Yeah, I'm going to uh, quickly rush Denmark. That should get me a lot of guns and take a bunch of units out of the equation. And queue up a bunch more divisions. I know I don't have the equipment, but I do have the manpower. I don't know how much further my infantry can keep this going, but I'm going to take as much of Germany as I can. And that should be the Danes gone. I'm going to leave one armor division there for the time being. Just to uh, you know, keep that straight crossing open or closed, depending on how you look at it. They've done it again, by the way. So this Greek unit walked through Czechoslovakia into our territory and behind our lines can simply start taking land. Why? I do not know. As far as the rest is concerned, I am casually walking into Germany. I assume because most of the German army is on that side of the front. That single Greek unit is causing a lot of problems for me. I'm just going to walk around the border with Czechoslovakia just to prevent any more German units from using Czechoslovakia as a, a way into my country. And we've reached the borders of the Netherlands. Germany is going to fall. I don't think, no, nothing's going to stop that. I'm, I'm a little confused where the German army is, though. Yeah, there goes Germany. They have capitulated. Okay, that really screws with the front lines, though. So I'll devote half that army to the low countries, try and push in there. I'll devote the other half to sitting on the Swiss Alps. Oh, that's a weird battle. And we'll use the armor to help deal with the low countries. Countries. Like just crush them quickly. This is going to give me a lot of um, equipment. And I think a lot of divisions will have disappeared from this front line now as well with Germany gone. So I'm going to start pushing with what's here. Ooh, Zurich is wide open. Where are their units? I, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. So the Swiss army isn't home either. If I can take Bern and Zurich, that will be Switzerland out as well. None of their units are home. And I love it. Okay, that should be Switzerland out. 100,000 guns. Okay, this army is just going to sit in the mountains. There you go, the Netherlands. Okay, so things are looking up. I am a little shocked to find that apparently nobody's home in Italy. Where are the units? Again, Belgium, nobody's home. Yep, 200,000 guns. Thanks, I'll take those. While I'm at it, why don't I just queue up a bunch more units? And I can deploy two armies worth of infantry. Great. These will be very helpful to deal with the West. I might actually be able to push everyone off the continent and declare victory yet. I love the prospect. I've been here for far too long, but I'm no longer slowly losing my mind, so that's good. I think I found the German army or what's left of the German army. They're in northern Italy. I, I wonder where they were, though. Get my course in the greater Commonwealth. I'll do this. This one and then I'll switch to unit production because I need more troops always need more troops oh just the overruns once you get a breakthrough going oh, Spain is gonna fall then I just need to focus on on Italy and I'll declare victory once once I've taken Italy and Spain maybe I'll push into the into the north here but I am not walking all the way to Vladivostok I'll, I'll leave that as it is I did not expect this uh, I'll be perfectly honest I absolutely did not expect any of this so many units are being encircled that we're destroying everything in our path that is the final vestiges of allied power in spain and for an all-out assault on italy once more put another ally back on the map oh there goes ossetania an opportunity technically all of this is now cut off so that is another big pocket here it's all mountains though so i'll use the infantry to clean it up okay so my armor has actually cut italy in half good the infantry can mop up the, the north and the armor will simply keep pushing south. I am having some trouble closing this pocket, though. They're once again not taking any attrition. Polish tanks liberating Italy. Love to see it. Okay, so that puts Italy back on the map with 4 million manpower 
start anon scraping the barrel. How about we give you some guns so you can start making troops? Oh yes, they're all gone. Another massive encirclement, a few more of these to end the run. And we'll be happy, I'd say. I'd say we'll be very happy indeed. I'm gonna reposition the tanks to the north here. I'm gonna try and push across into Sweden. And when Sweden is back under control and Norway's fallen, I think we'll have one. Look at those, uh, just constantly seeing that, that helmet ping, 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 ping. And they're gone. Sweden is still holding on to Gotland. They must have killed a lot of uh, UK naval invasions there because they keep hitting the island. And then Sweden pushes back with its teeny tiny army. Another massive offensive on the Eastern Front. Bubbles look Ooh, maybe not as green as I first thought. Then again, the Eastern Front has become a bit of an afterthought, crushing the naval invasion with the remaining infantry. I'm gonna ship those into Sweden once we make a beachhead. Annoyingly, yeah, it's, it's a bit of an annoying pit to push through, but we should be able to get across. And then I'll ship all that infantry in there as well. All right, beachhead established. The infantry can now move here as well. And we are going on a little trip to link up with our front lines. Time to reward Sweden with her years of loyal service defending Gotland. <laughs> Now it's my turn. Of course, naval invasion. A uh, bit of a running theme, this uh, this disaster. Just naval invasion after naval invasion after naval invasion, and it's kind of annoying. Fortunately, my tanks can handle pretty much anything the AI throws at me now, so bye-bye. Encirclements, encirclements, encirclements everywhere. Sweden is slowly reappearing on the map. Poland triumphs on all fronts. It's now a matter of time before we win, so I'm going to cut out most of the battle footage. Um, just sinking ships left, right, and center using my extremely good submarines. Uh, army is pushing everywhere. I, I don't think I'll actually walk all the way into Siberia. Once I've liberated the Nordic countries, I'll call it a day. The only thing really slowing us down here is just the atrocious supply. They, they can't stop us now. We've um, we've begun our snowball. All right, folks, with this disgusting situation, this is where I'll leave it. We have inflicted 4.9 million casualties on Germany, 2.5 million on the UK, and then uh, amounts that are not very significant on pretty much everybody else. We have thrown away 3.5, almost 3.6 million Polish lives, but fortunately there's a lot of Polish people around in this new grand Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Yes, I know we didn't reclaim all of our country. This would just be a matter of time, but the game is getting really slow, really choppy and unstable. I've had a couple of crashes. I've liberated Sweden, I've liberated Finland, I've liberated everybody in our faction, pretty much. I'd say we're done. This is one. It's just a matter of time now. I'm gonna actually send this back to the guy who sent it in because he specifically requested assistance from the winged hussars. These are your winged hussars, my friend. These are the winged hussars who brought victory when Poland needed it the most. Give these men a medal. Give these men several medals. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I apologize for my tone earlier. It was incredibly frustrating. But if you liked the video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. Also, check out my store at nexus.gg slash bittersteel. There's some really cool games on there, all of the DLC for Hearts of Iron, and purchase there helps the channel. Anyway, enjoy this next video. I'm sure you'll love it. Goodbye.